Because <laughs> originally hip hop had this pure message, and as same with the superheroes, and then in the 90s they got really dark and gritty, and then you have like these you know good guy characters that were doing bad things. And same thing with hip hop now, where you have people who, who are influenced by you know the positivity of hip hop, but now their their message is skewed and distorted. It's not the same message. Yeah, I would say, you know, just to add to that, it's like, it, it's the Spider-Man story. It's like, you're really the hero, but the society is looking at you like you're the villain. But all of a sudden, I mean, even like the build on what DMC was saying, you had Dr. Dre and NWA come down and with an expression self, and he said, I don't smoke weed or sex. And then two years later, he got the crime. So what's the transformation when he turns into being like the, the the hero that gets scrutinized as a villain to just, you know, I'm just a villain. So there's got to be some heroes in here, but in the beginning, like, all the rappers tried, we tried to be heroes, although in the press, we were the villains. And then later on, people would see that, okay, it's beneficial and profitable to be the, the villain, so forget it, I'm going to be the villain. But I think, you know, now it's time for a hero. I always look at DMC, it was always like, the king of rock, he's on top of a mountain. And I'll, you know, and I'll, I'll wax you down if you do not do the right thing. And I always say, well, boom, this is what it's all about, you know. So, what you see, like, like he said, the ultimate superhero. Movie. When we built Public Enemy, the S1Ws and all this, all these characters came out of that comic book imagery, you know. And also influenced by, I don't know why they never had a successful comic book, but like James was saying, the Green Hornet. You know, the Green Hornet, I mean, we had the Oldsmobile 98. And it reminds us of the Green Hornet car, you know? We got those in the car. Looking like they call the Green Hornet. <laughs> you know, like Juice was saying, uh, with the, the outfits that they wore, Run DMC was kind of a transitionary period where new costumes came about, because they were the first one, like, the denim, the yeah, suits. So it went from being, like, tiny, crazy Michael Jackson outfits to Run DMC. Yeah, we, we, you know, it was like, yeah, they had the tight Michael stuff, man. I remember Russell was like, okay, y'all get it big now. You know, rap is now show business. Russell was like, okay, so y'all need a wardrobe, y'all need a costume. Me and Brother Che was like, okay, Russell, we need a costume, but we ain't wearing that stuff right there. <laughs> but, you know, we said, yo, if we gonna, if we gonna have a stage outfit, let's think of who was really cool. You know, we can't be looking like Batman, but yo, because you know who was cool, y'all? Zorro. <laughs> so it was like you could just walk through the hood and be like, you know, yeah, I can relate to this guy. So our thing was built on, okay, we have a wardrobe, but we don't want to be too far from the audience that we represent. Because when people look at Run DMC, it's like you said about the gentleman mother, like, you ain't gonna really appreciate the superhero standing there with some tights on. But you might like him if he got on some, you know, two piece denim we suit as the Medidas. Well, I think the Prince beat you with the Zorro off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, he took it a little too far. Yeah, he took it a little too far. <laughs> now, you know what was, you know, was interesting? Every superhero that was any superhero, was all, they were all brainiacs. They were smart. Yeah, Mr. Fantastic was like ridiculous, you know. Even Peter Parker, he was like a physics whiz. Tony Stark. And Tony Stark was an electrical engineer, which, by the way, I got my degree in electrical engineering. <laughs> <laughs> And no small part to, to Tony Stark, but he had a master's when he was from MIT and he had it when he was 12. <laughs> you, know, so, you know, every superhero was real smart. And most rappers, if not all rappers, were real, were real well, you know, well, you know, but you know, they could have been anything. I mean, Bat Batman was, um, I, mean, you know, I don't even know what he did. I mean, I know he was followers of the answer, but, but you know, Batman obviously was smart. He was a real like, a detective type of dude. But they never mentioned his education. Who really went out their way to mention that, that these people were real smart people. And right. most rappers were real smart. You were smart. Chuck, you know, you guys went to college. Yeah. Kumo D one got his degree community. Yeah, cool. Cool. A lot of these rappers were geeks and whatever they want to call it, they were all real smart because you can't be a master of, of words and rhymes if you don't have a vocabulary to manipulate. Right, that's true.